Hello again there YouTube, it's uh, Wow Sly. Um, doing a little update on software for the Baofeng UV5R. Uh, yesterday I put a video up um, from, well off, Chirp, the programming software for the Baofeng. Um, won't go into that, let's try and put a phone somewhere where we can do this, right. Um, yeah, and then someone left a comment on my video. Um, Jink Jack, Jink Jack, uh, saying um, because I had problems with uh, the official Baofeng software, I couldn't get it to work. Um, on my PC with XP, it just crashed, and on the laptop with Win Seven, it just wouldn't recognise the um, wouldn't recognise the radio. Um, and someone said just to uh, download and reinstall the newer version. I wasn't actually aware there was a new version. Um, it always comes up in Japanese. You'll see on the other videos on here. Um, or I'm saying that it comes up in something with loads of question marks. Um, so we need to go to the second one in on the top here and select English. It works pretty much the same as the other one I showed yesterday, um, but I, I prefer this one. It seems to be a lot user friendly. Um, simply plug your radio in, same as my other video. Uh, select communications for this particular video, COM port 8. And then up to program, read from radio. Click read, it's reading the data blocks, the little lights flashing red. When it downloads from the radio, it's red. When it uploads, it goes green. It may blink or stay on. And again, the radio is still switched on. It says it's complete. Push OK, nothing comes up. It only comes up when you close this box here. There we go. Um, it's got the band, the frequency, um, RX frequency, TX frequency, any codes, CTCS codes, which is listed better on, on the Baofeng software than, um, than Chirp. Chirp just said a list of codes, but I don't think it actually listed CTCS. So you had to sort of work out which one, which codes you were going to use for obviously repeaters. Um, or business PMR <clears throat> and then it asks you your TX power uh, wide or narrow uh, PTT ID um, busy lock which is a handy feature so you can't key the mic when uh, when someone else is talking I used to use that but it doesn't work for repeaters I used to wait sort of 30 seconds before I could actually speak on a repeater um, I actually got around to going into the memory and turning it off but it's a lot easier to turn off on the program than it is for the phone menu and then you got um yeah your channel name so you can list them all i've only got 14 things programmed in here uh, some people have got hundreds i don't need that many and you can scroll it all the way down to 127 Presumably, that matches the capacity. <laughs> you can program 127 frequencies into the Baofeng. And that's it, really. It's pretty straightforward. Again, you can type in your frequencies. You can copy and paste them. Um, you can name them. You choose if you want them wide or narrow. Keep it on wide. TX power, or minor on high. And then the CTCS codes. See, obviously, like I said before, for the repeaters, my local repeaters. And once you've programmed it, named it, same as the Chirp software, back to program, right to radio, click on right. This is the annoying thing. Don't you hate when you like click delete? Are you sure you want to delete? Yes. If you delete this, it'll be yes, click yes, click. I hate clicking multiple times. <laughs> I want to click right and be done with it, but I have to click right. Starts right in the blocks. The light starts blinking green. 
and same as the video yesterday for those that saw it the radio will shut off now and restart again instantly right complete click OK close that and that's it you're done it literally takes with uh, the software the USB lead and the driver disk um, doesn't take long at all to program it I did prefer programming it by hand um, didn't mind it didn't take too long um, but now I've finally got the uh, the Baofeng software working I'm just going to continue using the software um, don't think I'll go back to chirp now this one's working I just find this one more user friendly despite the uh, the line down my screen that is not user friendly so that's the um, the Baofeng UV5R series program software I think it's called you can find this from the Baofeng website it's a free download I think I've still got the page open there we go the official Baofeng website uh, you literally go to support downloads USB driver which I got mine on a CD and then uh, the Baofeng program software click that it asks you to select from a list at the bottom got the software for the Baofeng um, A and K series the UV6, UV7 the B5, B6, the V85, the 3R plus the 3R and the 5R I don't see the 5R plus so I presume it's the same and then you just click on the right hand side to download it's all in English except for the V6 and UV7 that's uh, whatever that is Chinese or Japanese not sure and English so if you're looking for English program software for the UV5R go to the Baofan website and it's that simple uh, this video is just to show people who who are um, either own a Baofan and have no idea how to work it like myself the day it turned up or for people that are thinking about getting one but not sure um, about programming it um, I recommend getting one they're fantastic radios and the, the software is quite straightforward um, now the bugs are all ironed out and it's working as I said before I wasn't alone with this um, it just didn't work on Win 7 for me and it kept crashing the computer on uh, XP and a few people I spoke to said the same thing and a lot of people say the same thing on YouTube a lot of people I think do program it by hand um, but yeah it's still working now so um, yeah if you've got a Baofeng um, you just use it for PMR get all your PMR, PMRs in there 1 to 8 and if you uh, are using it for 2 meters and 70 cm um, you know chuck out what else you want in there I've got the calling frequencies and my local repeaters and um, one or two others right that's it thanks for watching take care YouTube and there we go again the Baofeng UV5R um, with extended battery and again while I'm on this video there's a plug on the side for the power can anyone tell me where I can buy a lead for that I can't see one anywhere online I think it's about 8 point something volt but someone said it was AC and I'm looking for DC but yeah, if anyone knows we can get the lead to plug into the battery give me a shout